Yes, Jill. Also, that's a lovely dress, too, may I add? Yeah, all right, then. Sheesh, what a cow. Am I right, boys? George, what the hell is wrong with you? Joe is right here. Hmm. Did someone say something? So what you boys up to? Well, we just got finished watching Joe getting his ass handed to him in Fortnite. Also, what the fuck are you wearing? Are you planning on holding Gotham hostage and demanding the Batman's identity by midnight, or else you'll blow up a hospital? You look like the Kmart version of Heath Ledger's Joker. Oh, this? It's vintage. New supply drop, hype beast gear. You wouldn't get it. Anyways, who wears a suit just to hang out? Professionals in the wealthy elite, of which I am both a part of. Calm down, dumb and dumber. Anyways, like Donnie was saying, Joe just raged at Fortnite. It's just infuriating to get two shot by the mythic Havoc shotgun by an 11-year-old who does nothing but eat, breathe, and shit this game. Joe, you Discovery Channel relic, pyramid of Giza builder having ass. You literally had four of your five slots filled with shields, med mist, and slap juice. Your only weapon slot, you had a common tactical pistol, which you missed every shot, by the way. Not my fault I had a lag spike. You were not lagging, Joseph. Whatever, man. Maybe if I held it sideways like Barack, I would have killed him. What the hell? I didn't even say anything. Well, do you guys want to throw on HBO and watch some The Last of Us? Heard that show was pretty good. I'm down. Sure. Oh, me. I want to watch that. Joe, wait. What was that tab you just closed? That, uh, uh, nothing. It was some weird ad pop-up. I really got to get ad block one of these days, right, Barry? Yep, those pop-ups are definitely annoying. No, it wasn't an ad. You conjured up that fake-ass excuse just like you conjured those fake ballots in Wisconsin. Open up your history tab. Joe, what the fuck? What the hell is that? I knew it! Ad pop-up, my orange ass. Joe, explain yourself. Okay, listen. I queued up a game of Fortnite earlier before you geezers arrived. We are the geezers? I'm a third of your age. Hurtful and insensitive. I would never say something so harsh to you, Barack. Anyways, I had open comms and some kid was talking about a Lola. So I said to myself, hey, that reminds me of Corn on the Cob Carlos, who used to ride by my house waving goodbye to me as he would drop off the morning newspaper. This was, of course, back when jump roping first came out. And to do it, you needed to have a long shoelace tied to the back end of two praying mantises that were in heat. What the fuck? Never mind. The kid went on to say that this bunny girl was even hotter than VTubers. And that really got my old gears grinding. So I googled this Lola bunny and, well, here we are. Jesus. Joe, I honestly don't know how to respond to that. I need help. I'm not normal. Wait, scroll down a bit. Click that image right there. Well, uh, what do you guys think? I mean, I can kind of see it. George, are you serious? That is an animal. No way anyone can be attracted to that. Then again, you do dress like a Party City wannabe Avengers level threat villain, so your input doesn't really matter. Right, Donnie? Donald? I, I might have to see some more images to make a proper assessment. You too, Donnie? Listen, I'm just saying, with that figure, I can kind of see why some people would find her attractive. It's perfectly normal. It wouldn't make me a furry. She's so fucking hot. There, I said it. You old bats are insane. Barack, if she wasn't meant to be attractive, then why did the animators put her in a tight-ass jersey with her midriff exposed? She was clearly designed to be every kid's first cartoon crush. I would do diabolical things to her. No! That doesn't mean anything. Also, in the latest Space Jam, they clearly put her in less revealing clothes to send a message to weirdos like you. And that message is that you were wrong to be attracted to her in the first place. Does she have an OnlyFans? You know what? Let's let the internet decide. Rule 34, this bitch. Oh, no. What does that mean? It's a not-safe-for-work website for animated characters, Joe. Ooh, sounds like my type of party. If she has more than 30 pages of porn of her Barack then you have to admit that it is not a societal taboo or weird fetish to find her attractive. I think 30 pages is more than fair. Fine, you're on. Prepare to realize that you're in the minority. You've got to be kidding me. Told you, sucker. You know, the more that I look at her, the more she kind of reminds me of Ivanka. Dear God, you're right. Gorgeous, absolutely stunning. It's the hourglass-shaped figure, isn't it? Oh my God, okay. I kind of see it now. Where the hell is John? He should really be here to see this. Yeah, I miss him. Last I heard, he was in Dallas doing a meetup with some guy he met on the Bumble Find Friends app. Man, he ditches us for some new guy. Yeah, what the hell? Did you catch the guy's name at least? I think it was Oswald or something. 